Eurovision and has since won legions of fans all around the world, including Rylan, her now official stalker. Mm -hmm. Conchita, there you are. <laughs> Before we actually speak to Conchita about um, her new book and her new album and all sorts of things, this is being Conchita. Before we find out what it's like to be Conchita, let's go back in time. Let's look at that Euro winning moment. Congratulations, Conchita, Austria. Matus Guzman. This night is dedicated to everyone who believes in a future of peace and freedom. You know who you are. We are unity, and we are unstoppable. And have you been unstoppable since? While I'm making my way, I know, I, 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 I try. <laughs> and when you look back at that moment, what do you think about it now? Do you remember how you felt no, then? No, I don't. No. I mean, I look very happy. So, uh, but, you know, I don't have any memories through my eyes. So everything I know is reconstructed by watching videos. And was that because you were so overwhelmed by it or nervous? Or? I actually think that was a security function of my body yeah. that I don't pass out. Like an out of body yes. experience it, it, type thing, looking, looking down that. and everything. There is a song on my record called Exactly Like This. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Now, Conchita, <laughs> Conchita had that out of body experience and can't really remember a lot. She remembers it through video. Ryan, for you, a life-changing moment. What do, well, you, what do you remember? I just remember watching the Eurovision and going, wow, she's amazing, and then looking at my Twitter and going, oh, my God, it's Rylan and Nicole Scherzinger's love child. <laughs> I, I was going, what? Oh, my God. And I couldn't believe the likeness. But that night, I think, is when people, especially in this country, a lot of people will look at Eurovision and take a bit of the mick out of it and, you know, oh, it's politics, rah, rah, rah. That night, when Conchita performed and sung, that's what changed that competition, I think, completely. And her story and what she's doing to get to where she wants to be and the talent that she's got, I think it's completely changed that. Well, that story, and as I said, Conchita, and, and this book, Being Conchita, and, and you have called it we are, we are Unstoppable. How did Conchita come to be? Give people an insight into that. Well, the story is actually not that glamorous as many people would think. If I'm completely honest, everything just happened by mistake because I'm doing drag since I'm 14 but never in a regular way and I got the offer in uh, 2011 to host a little burlesque show which would be weekly and I said hey let's do it in drag and and the lady said well sure let's go and then I realized oh I have to shave every week and I, I really don't like my <laughs> face beardless so I asked hey would you be okay by having a bearded lady on stage and that was it actually. and there was confusion how did you come up with the name well the, the name Conchita was given uh, to me by a friend of Cuba, um, from Cuba, and I asked her, so, so how do you call a hot Latina? And she said, Conchita. And I said, well, I'm going to take that. <laughs> I'm going to take that. And then I wanted to have a very glamorous surname, but it wouldn't come to my mind, so I... I, I got well, you have to explain to people, are you always Conchita, or when are you Conchita and when are you not Conchita? Well, I, I, I refer to myself as a drag artist, so I do have a non-makeup face in real life, so I would walk around as Tom without the wig, without the lashes, you know, paying bills and stuff. I'm very thankful that he does that. Yeah, but um, and, and when it comes to, to the public eye, I would always attend uh, in full. Drag. And did you did you set out to make a statement? Did you set out to say, you know, I'm different and I'm embracing being different and I want people to accept me as being different? Well, I I didn't thought about that in, in first place because you know in this back to 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 the start in this burlesque community, you might think that everyone is very open minded and you know very thinking in a liberal way, but they would give me the side eye, and I found out that this beard actually means way more than I thought it could, and then I said, hey. Hey, of course I'm a drag queen, even if I have a beard and even if I do it in a more, you know, sophisticated way. I think in terms of drag, I'm the most boring drag queen you could ever no, see. No, 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 it's scientifically, if we broke it down, if we had the scientific formula, you believe it is a cross between or a combination of Zayn Malik and Kim Kardashian, yeah? Oh, That's thank you, you for Kim. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> That's what it should be. The other interesting thing from your book is, I think often, whether it's Ryland, whether it's yourself, people think, oh, I'd like to be famous. You get up there and you do one song and that's it. You're, you're immediately going to be famous. You'll win Eurovision or whatever. In the book, you say that is an illusion that success is mostly due to hard work. Yeah, you have to work very, very hard. You know, I'm, I'm in the public eye since I'm 17. So I spent most of the time of my career being not successful and not famous. But you know, it never, it never, you know, I never surrendered. I, I always, I, till now, I want to have a Grammy. So I have to work for it, right? You don't, I mean, you can win your revision and nothing could happen. You really have to, to think and work and, and stay creative and entertaining and relevant at the end of the day, because the, you know, the show business is tough. Mm -hmm. And if they got a prettier face, you, I mean, you're out, yeah. you know? So, um, but it's beautiful, so many things. See that Grammy that you were talking about, um, because people may have different perceptions of you, and whatever, you take yourself obviously very seriously as a music artist, it's yeah. very important for you. And we're going to play a track uh, from the album. Now, what track are we going to play? Yes, Unstoppable, Unstoppable which is, is the single, be, the new single. This is the new single, so let's have a listen to that. Sure. As a, as a singing artist, recording artist yourself, Ryland, what do you think of that? We'll go that far. Um, <laughs> I love it. I completely love the album as well. And I remember you last year when you were co-hosting, obviously, the Eurovision after the year that you won, um, and you performed that track, and then you did it with a mashup of Firestorm, yeah. which is another track on the album. That is one of my favourite songs at the moment. I absolutely love it. I showed you my phone. It's like on repeat. I absolutely love it. The songs that are on that album are amazing. And whatever people think of you when they first thought, oh, maybe a joke on the Eurovision, like you've self-admitted that people have said that, the music speaks for itself completely. Mm -hmm. Do you know what speaks for itself? This picture is flooded in. A from, picture's flooded in. Picture's picture. flooded in from Ryland's fans there. <laughs> 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 That, look, that is the way they see the future. Maybe a duet thing going on here. <laughs> oh, or, well, or well, it's so it. it You look so glamorous. Well, yeah, I've got one upstate. I want to <laughs> dress back, though. <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow it. <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. Absolutely amazing. And so, so what's next for you? Another album? And, and do you want a TV show? What would you, where would you like to go now? Well, I'm, I'm thinking, first of all, uh, about live concert because I want to bring this album to the stage and surprisingly I found out that I'm not quite a good dancer so I have to come up with a concept which is you know not boring after 10 minutes so this is what I'm, I'm doing now and yeah I'm actually working on my second uh, album because you know I haven't written a word for the first one although I was obviously very involved in the process but I, I really want to be more creative and you, you know making the second r record even more my own than this one. It's the next Bond film you want. Yeah. What? Nobody yes. called. Yeah. Next, next time. time. Next time. <laughs> that should have been. Thank you it's very so much. It's so good to meet you. Lovely meeting you. Uh, it's there. The new album is there. And uh, the book, Being Conchita, is at a bookstore near you as well. Lovely seeing you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.